there's something interesting about black holes that can help you understand this energy much more deeply because what we found in this and all this mathematics is that the key to the universe, um, as Jose was saying, uh, this energy of God, we often hear about the word of God, it literally is sound, resonance, vibration. And this energy represented by the number nine is the source of time and motion and vibration, which is what all our scientific studies ultimately really break down to. Interesting thing about a black hole, you never hear this addressed much. Um, they call it a black hole because the matter is supposed to be so dense that the escape velocity of light is not enough to escape out. So it sucks everything into it, even the light. And conventionally, it's thought that the fastest thing traveling in the universe is light traveling through the vacuum of space. But when you start thinking about sound, you realize that sound has this opposite quality to the light. Whereas light travels very fast in the vacuum of space, and as it gets into denser medium, it, it slows down. Sound is the opposite. Uh, we're told that sound doesn't propagate at all in space uh, because there's nothing, there's nothing to vibrate in the vacuum. And then the further, the denser and denser matter gets, sound moves faster and faster. So it's commonly known if you pass a sound wave through the Earth, it's faster than in the atmosphere because everything's packed more closely together and it vibrates more quickly. That's the basic principle of physics. What's interesting about this is when you start to think about black holes and you think about matter that's so dense that light can't even escape it, and all conventional equations break down. They all go to infinity, and no one knows what's going on. They just, it goes to infinity. I don't know, it goes to another world or another dimension. Um, we actually believe there's another side to the black hole. But I also believe that there's something that transcends the speed of light, and that is sound near the core of a black hole. When matter is compact that dense, the light can't even escape it. Sound penetrating that matter actually transcends the speed of light. And that then becomes this higher dimensional energy, which is the source of our physical world of form and motion. So uh, this was a recent uh, image from a recent article that came out. Uh, I wasn't referring to transformers, but um, uh, but why not take it when it's there? Um, you can actually hear stars falling into black holes. So now they're really starting to be able to observe some of these sounds that are going on and the reson resonance that's there. Sometimes it's referred to as the music of the spheres. Uh, another term for it is hypersound. And this has come out recently with technological applications of what's called sasers. That would be uh, the sound version of lasers. Hypersound is one of the closest things to this energy that's uh, postulated in modern physics. Uh, they talk about it in quantum mechanics. And when, the, I don't remember what the frequency ranges are, but when frequency gets so high that it can't actually propagate as a wave, they uh, postulate that it becomes what they call a quasi-particle. And I believe that that particle is uh, the closest thing that they're observing to, to this higher dimensional energy, which we're talking about with the number nine. Okay.